This video is about aggregating or grouping data in SQL. In SQL, we can break the data into groups and summarize the data in each of those groups based on some calculations, just like we can in dplyr. We do the grouping the same way we do in dplyr using a group by command. Doing this in SQL is similar to how we do it in dplyr in that we use a group by command, but it's also different in that we specify our summarize steps in the select statement. And so let's look at an example query where for each species in the portal dataset, we calculate its average mass and count the number of times it's been surveyed at the site. We start like in all SQL queries with the select command. We're going to want the species ID since we're doing this by species. And then we specify the summary steps that we want to make, the calculations that we want to make for each group. And so we want the average weight, and so that's the AVG function, and then the column that we want to apply that function to, so that's our weight column. And then we want to count, that's the count function, the species ID. We can count a variety of different things, but we'll count the species ID column here. This is the number of rows present in that column. And then we're going to tell it where this data is coming from. So it's from the surveys table. And now we explicitly tell it how to group our data. And that's group space by. And then we tell it the column that we want to group on which in this case is species ID. And if we run this, we'll now see that for each species ID, we have a count. And for species IDs, where there is some size data, uh, we get an average size. And SQL works a little bit differently when it's doing aggregation and summarize than R does in that it by default throws out null data and so it's only calculated the mean on the non-null data and it's only counted species IDs where those species IDs are not null values. Like in dplyr we can group by multiple columns as well and so let's say we wanted the same information but for each species on each plot. And so we'll add plot ID up here, and then we'll add it in our group by. And it's important to recognize that adding it down here is what causes it to get grouped. Adding it up here causes it to be displayed. And so now if we scroll down a little bit, we can see for each species on each plot. Uh, we've got the average weight on that plot and a count of the number of individuals on that plot. As I mentioned before, these aggregation functions automatically remove null values from the calculations. And that's important when we think about counting things. So right now, count of species ID is counting the number of individuals with that species ID that match over here. If we wanted to count the number of individuals with this species ID that also had a weight measurement, we would do that by counting the weight column instead. And so now we'll see that for uh, species where we haven't measured any weights, their counts are also zero because we're only counting rows where the weight is not null. 
This means that it's important to think carefully about what we're trying to count, and it is also possible to count all rows, not just those without a null value in some particular column, uh, by counting asterisk or counting everything instead. So this works to get us the output that we want, but it also results in column names that both might not be maximally descriptive, but might also cause us problems uh, if we're trying to use something that has a name with a parenthesis in it. And we can get around that by naming these new columns that we're creating uh, using the as keyword. And so we can say as, and then what we want to call that column. So we'll call it average avg underscore weight. And then we can give the count column a name as well uh, by saying as, and then let's say num underscore in div for number of individuals. And that will replace the names here, just like when we give new columns and summarize a name in dplyr. So that's how we aggregate or group by and summarize data in SQL. The summarize step happens in the select statement where we use a variety of functions to calculate values for all of the values for a group uh, from a column, one or more columns. And we can give those new columns names using the as keyword and then the name of the column. And then we group things in a separate group by statement uh, that includes one or more columns to group by. <clears throat> to start this, we write our, yeah, right, it's a little funny. As I mentioned a minute ago, 